And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We're here with Calvin II. Hey, that's me. That's right. <laughs> and you were just telling us some cool stuff about TV shows that you've yeah. been in. So Calvin is a uh, musician yes. and also an actor. Yeah, it was just, it was a time, it was so weird because, you know, being a producer and then being an artist, I just wanted to do that. And then all these opportunities started coming, like acting wise and stuff. Um, and so at first I really was fighting it, but then I was like, okay, well, this is where stuff is leading. It's kind of dumb for me to just, oh, I'm going to do this thing here. But, you know. Yeah, you shouldn't pass up an opportunity. Well, that's the thing. I and mean, I was yeah. kind of doing that because I'm just, I'm so, like, music is a part of me. But I'm so glad that I, you know, didn't just, I wasn't so stubborn and that I, like, opened up to this because it's made me a better musician. Like, because I've, you know, done stuff in acting, I'm so much more, I'm able to write songs better because I'm more emotionally vulnerable and stuff like that. Like, I'm not, like, trying to be, you know, just super... Uh, like hard? Yeah, hard all the yeah. time. It doesn't really work in, when you're writing poems. <laughs> Raps is poems, guys. It's just poems. It's true. So, it's like, it's just, it's just, I mean, sometimes it can be, but all of them? Yeah. It's weird. Uh, but no, TV-wise, um, Nashville, uh, New Girl, I had an awesome uh, co-star on that, which was great. Um, what did you do on New Girl? On New Girl, it was a scene where they went, it was like the Brooklyn Nine-Nine crossover episode, whatever, in New York, and I was like playing the bucket drums and stuff. They cut my lines out, though. I was upset about that. Aww. It happens sometimes, so it, I was up for like, but I mean, it's still cool, but it's just like, it's not as cool yeah. as actually, I thought my lines were amazing, but <laughs> time-wise, I guess they, but no, sometimes it happens. Um, also, I was in Whiplash, which did very well. Um, and I always loved that because it won three Oscars and stuff. What? Like it, That's it so did. amazing. So, yeah, but um, that, it was just like, I actually had to play my saxophone in the audition. And even with Nashville. In, in Whiplash? Yeah, in Whiplash. I get booked at a lot of, it's so cool that like I do both, so I usually get a lot of cool bookings that are music related, which I love. So do you send out your stuff with like you with your saxophone? Sometimes, yeah. Or nice. I have like, for the bigger things, my agents usually will send it out or like, you know, call it in and whatnot. But um, yeah, like just... I actually had to do the scene and then play my sax for Whiplash and stuff um, and then improv and everything. And actually one of the lines in the film I, is actually an improv line of mine and it made the final cut. Nice. Which is great. So I like technically wrote a percentage <laughs> of a three time Oscar award winning film. Whoa. It was a really good moment too. It's just great. That's so That's cool. That's why they kept it in the final cut. Nice. It was amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so no, but. I love doing both and like, you know, with the music video This Is America, it's opened up opportunities with me. We were already in negotiation with different labels and publishing companies and stuff. Yeah, and I know because I yeah. talked to you just like a yeah, month ago. Exactly. And you're like, well, I've got some stuff coming up and, and we yeah. knew that that was happening. Yeah, exactly. But and this so, just happened. So. It, which is great because, you know, again, I don't take everything from anything for granted because, um, you know, there's a lot of awesome music and a lot of awesome stuff out there. So if... I always tell people like if you're fortunate to rise above the cloud of anonymity to where people oh yeah they know about you or you know they're interested in listening to what you're doing like you know don't take that for granted because success is not common that's one thing you know and I hope that I, I remember that because it's easy to like you know just get complacent and when you're just so great for so long you maybe take certain things for granted but you know it's I just really do appreciate people listening to my stuff and so we're actually going to be doing the well, we're releasing the song, and some of my team, they were like, well, we should do a crowdfunding for the video. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Like, because, you know, I was just going to, like, you know, just pay and stuff and everything. And just, you know, because the big thing is this. I like to pay people that are involved with stuff just because, you know, I know different artists in L.A. and whatnot. Um, but they were like, well, if you crowdfund, you could really pay them what they're worth. As, a, as opposed to just doing like, you know, I have a lot of relationships because I work with a lot of people on their production. So people right. love me. They just are like, hey, you need help? Cool. That's so that. cool. I love that. Yeah, but it's just like, okay, well, if we, if I do the crowdfunding for it, one, it raises awareness about the product. It helps people to feel like they're a part of it because it, really they are. Like I tell people, even if you don't do nothing but share the, the um, crowdfunding link and whatnot, um, which is going to be up at my website, which I'll tell you, even if you only do that, that like helps. It is one more person that'll go to my website that can listen to my song to where, you know, it gives me more uh, possibilities to yeah. be able to do this consistently and everything. Because again, like success is not common and stuff. So anybody that's doing stuff on a high level, like there's always that chance of maybe it didn't work out or maybe like, you know, um, 
it could have gone a different way. So I'm, I'm appreciative. Like, it's great to be able to do these shows and book more things. And people are like, you know, I mentioned the This American thing. And people are like, oh, my God, like, it's notable. So yeah. to be involved in that and just to look back over my career, and it's like, wow, I've been a part of a lot of different things that have been, like, really great. And I, I don't take that for granted. So it's, it's awesome. That's good. It's really well, good. I think a lot of times for people to be successful is to keep that positive yeah. mindset, keep going. Yeah. You it, know? It helps. I mean, like, <laughs> something I talk about on sets a lot it's like, you know, there's this weird thing where people think they have to be mean to be effective. And it's not true. You, I can be very direct and still very respectful. I was like, if I'm on set and I need something or something's yeah. going on or not to my specifications and I have like a right to it, I'm absolutely going to be direct and let people know what my need. But I'm going to be, I can do it with respect. Or I can come back afterwards and that's like, if I feel like I've been too harsh yeah. or something and just, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's not, no, it's not life and death. You know, it's it's entertainment. This isn't like heart, open heart surgery. Like, yo, pass me the scalpel. It's like, nah, all right, do that take again. Yeah. Or like, you know, okay, we'll have the coffee later. Or just, you know, it, but it's it, a lot of times. Keeps it a little more chill. Yeah, keeping it chill. And I have to tell myself that a lot. Like, you know, I had a show where I didn't have a lot of time to get, and they wanted me to do cover songs. And I didn't have a lot of time to get everything together. So I had to get my band together. Like everything was last minute. I didn't even get to promote it as much as I'd, I'd like to. But it came together good. But it, during a certain part where everything was just not going well, I literally was like, man, screw it. And I told my bass, I was like, I think one of the things that helps me is I can, you know, just decide not to give a crap, but I still care. I, I still care generally. I want it to go well, but it's just like, I'm doing everything I can do and I can just like release it and just like, hey, whatever happens. And that's usually when the magic happens. When it's not like this thing that I'm, I have to control every aspect of this thing because it's like, okay, well then there's no magic. But if you let it be this loose flowing thing, like, you know, they didn't have to call me for that show. You know, we tried to do this last month. I know. But it didn't work out. We, we waited and it's like a better it, show. It is. Oh now God. we have even more to talk we about. We have more to talk. I mean, I still would've, it would've been funny. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> as opposed to me trying to control that and everything, I let it be what it was. And then I randomly was like, yo, What's up? And you were like, yo, come through. I was like, ah. Yeah, I so, know. It worked you know, out perfectly. going with the flow as opposed to fighting. It's weird because there's like, a, and this is something that I, I heard Oprah talk about once. There's like a thing where you, we have to decide when we're going to fight for something and when we're going to just like relax. It's like, I, I feel like you have to get used to that ebb and flow. Um, and so it's like you fight for the things that you know you want. But it, it, when it gets to a point where it's like, okay, well, I can't really do anymore. It's just, you just wait, but at least you're prepared. Yeah. And everything. And also, if you if you have that type of approach to it, it's going to go better anyway. Yeah. It's just like, you know, be ready. Like, I tell a lot of people that, I always give advice to people that move to L.A. because after you've been here for a while, it's easy to see the trends or the patterns where people are either going to succeed or fail. And it's just like, you know, I tell people, don't chase opportunity, chase preparedness. Because you could, I've, I've been in situations where I had opportunity, but I wasn't prepared. And because of that, I'm not further along. And so it's like, nah, spend more time preparing. It still go out because some people are professional students and stuff. And it's like, nah, I get, go out in that water, swim a little bit. It's okay. But just know that as you're doing that stuff and everything, the, the right things that are for you are going to come to you and whatnot. If you can know that and be confident in that, then you're good and stuff. That's good advice. I tell you. It's tough here in L.A. It can be tough. Man. You know? it's, it's not for sissies. It's true. It's not for sissies. Nobody that is successful. I always thought, I remember when people were talking smack about Britney Spears when she was going through her stuff. And I'm like, look, yo, at the end of the day, Britney Spears has more mental dexterity in her left pinky than most humans ever have to have. If she doesn't live up to expectations one night, 100 people don't feed their families or don't get a paycheck. That's like, crazy. One night. You can't be off one night and everything. So it's like, look. It's not like there's no wimps that are doing this stuff. There's no people that are like doing this stuff successfully. That's why I admire even you know Donald uh, Moore just because it's like he's been successful in several different mediums. Like I don't throw the word genius out there just because it's a cool little pop reference. Like well, one we all have genius within ourselves to whatever capacity that that genius is being exploited or you know realized. But if, I agree with you. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, somebody's a genius at playing Uno or something. <laughs> like, they always <laughs> win or Monopoly, whatever. You have your thing that you're good at. Um, but for him to, you know, be able to use or to have such success in so many different mediums and entertainment, which is not easy. Like, he fought his way through music, you know. I, 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 w I wish I would have asked him, because he has this interesting story about how he started writing for 30 Rock. 
and I sh- I wanted to ask him that, but I feel like you have to be like friends with him to for him to tell you the real story. So I'm gonna hit up his business partner, fam, on Twitter, and <laughs> be like, "Yo, fam, like, let's make this official, y'all." Like, I was yeah. there. Like at this point, <laughs> this is silly, but I was up like, "Yo, we might as well be friends because at this point, I, I can't. I'm the." My success is not going to be disassociated from that. It's going to be, you guys are going to be friends. We're, we might as well. You basically and, are already. <laughs> we basically you are. You basically like, are. Like, God forbid anything happens to me, somebody's going to send him, like, a text. It's going to affect his life. He'll be like, <laughs> yo. Ah, like, it'll affect him. He'll be, like, eating some, like, Thai food and stuff, and somebody will send him a text like, yo, you know that dude that was on me? <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, we, if that's going to be the case. You're connected. We're connected. He's cool. That's big brother right there. <laughs> Screw that. I'm not dumb. I, I mean, why, why would I not want to have an awesome friend? I have friends that are great and friends that are not great. I want, why not another great friend? True. Could balance it out a little bit. A little bit balanced. <laughs> I got to get rid of somebody, though. I'll be like, I'm sorry. So, uh, <laughs> somebody got to go. I don't know. Well, Maybe five people. Now, do you have any music that you want to promote? Okay, we should talk about that, yeah, too, because we're going to run that. out of time. Yeah, I don't want to run out of time because you're awesome. Um, <laughs> you're awesome right but no uh, the lead singer that we're leading with is a song called Keepa uh, it's produced by Mike Dupree um, it's an amazing song and we're going to be shooting a video that uh, later this month so please go to the website Calvin the Second that's Calvin the I I dot com and you'll see all the things there please contribute do whatever you can or just like you know sign up to the email list so that we can let you know when the song is out and the video is out we have like the best director ever that's one of the things I'm so excited about uh, the director John Primo is amazing, and it's I, I'm I'm excited because I realize that projects that I'm involved with they don't just involve me they actually help other people have amazing platforms to get their art out and so that people will know this guy because like after this video I'm like man this guy's rate is going up I'm so glad I got him now like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like yes because this stuff is so good it's not even kind of good like this man knows what he's doing. Um, and so from that to the choreographers who like literally work with Beyonce to like, it's, it's crazy. Like I have such so you a, have a lot of dancing girls um, in the video. There's three dancer girls. Yes. And so like it's it's a song like it's like a love letter from women, basically. So I didn't I'm in the video, of course, on the through line, but I wanted to be more focused on them and for them to, you know, have their solos and have their moments and everything. And so it's a beautiful song. Like I love when I get to play with my band, but I love the studio version. And like all the different radio stations have been hitting stuff like, yo, y'all had that song? I'm like, yeah. So it's just great. It's like an amazing thing to be able to release something and like everybody who hears, hears it, they're like, just let us know and we can play it and everything when it's safe to go. And so I'm, nice. I'm, I'm very excited. When are you going to push the button? Oh, uh, no, the button, the video sh- is getting shot this month. It'll either get released late June or early July and going from there. So that's a cool yeah. like, summertime release. So look it out, guys. Look yes, out for please. this. It's going to be really good. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. That's really cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's been awesome. Like I, yeah. I tell people, I'm very thankful. I don't have one of those Hollywood, L.A. sob stories. Like people be like, oh, man, it's so rough out here. I mean, it's not easy, but no, man, I know. it's going it's fun. good. I'm, I can't even front. <laughs> I just go, people pay me well. Oh, man, <laughs> all these residual checks. I do voiceover, too. Let nice. me tell you, I be on... All these commercials on the radio and TV. That's a good job, too. It's amazing. Let me yeah. tell you. I just be talking like, hey, tune in to blah, blah, blah. And they be like, oh, here's another check. I'll be like, this is great. <laughs> this is awesome. So, you know. Nice. LA is it's going great. I'm just glad to be here. I think the main stuff. thing is people say it's tough because they start to give up. Well, yeah. But that's the whole thing. If, if you don't, if you just stay, like, positive. Yeah. Like, you you what do. You're I mean, you have to be smart. Like, there's a lot of different things that, you know, you're going to have challenges. Life is going to come at you. If you can survive here even two years, like, let me tell you. But it, there's a lot of strategic things. Like, the first, I always get people, like, when I love talking to new people that just moved to L.A. Because, you know, that one they gave me, I love their, their enthusiasm. Because the, the first thing I tell people is, like, look, never let anybody make you feel bad about being an actor or entertainer in L.A. Because it's kind of yeah. cliche. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm an actor. What do you do? Oh, I'm a music. Oh, okay. But if that's what you do, that's what you do. Like, look. There are lit. Well, who are, all the people that come here, there are literally millions of people in your hometown who wanted to, thought that they could, but didn't for whatever reason. You had the guts to get up, uproot yourself from where you know people to where you don't know people for a chance to possibly do something that you like. 
Like that is that takes a lot of heart. So like you know, I never let anybody you know even I, my first year I was I was like a little nervous. I was like, oh you know I work in entertainment, but I'm like no, nah, I'm an actor musician. It's okay. It's all right. That's like, good. That's good. good. You be, should be able. You're to not say aspiring that. nothing. You either doing it or you not. It's okay. Even you're doing it at different levels, but everybody had to start with nothing for the most part. I mean, unless you were like, but even the people that had like you know that are. You know, their family and stuff, they still have to maybe prove themselves more because people are assuming Because they're, they're thinking getting, they're not, yeah. Uh, you just got this opportunity because your cousin is or your mother is or your brother. Yeah. So they still got to work. At the end of the day, the marketplace is the marketplace. So if you're not doing good, you're not going to go forward and stuff. So. Dang, some more deep talk over here. I tell you. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, Calvin, it's been so fun to have you on the show. It's been amazing being on your show. Thank you. I'm really excited for you. Thank you. The new Thank music you. that's coming out, the new, new music, music video. It's amazing. Yes. The music video is going to be even better than the music. <laughs> nice. <laughs> to a degree. Like, you have to have visuals. So, nice. it's going to be great. That's awesome. Well, we're going to be looking out for it. Everybody Thank should you. definitely go check you out. I appreciate you guys. Follow Thank him you. online. Follow and. Me. And uh, if you haven't seen the new music video that's come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the, the one that people have seen me recently is This yeah. is America, which is amazing. This Go is America. I won't tell you what happened. If you saw this whole interview, you might have heard secrets, but there's a lot of stuff. There's Easter eggs. But the one that I have coming out that we're doing the thing, go to my website, Calvin the Second, or everything is Calvin the Second, just Calvin the I.I. I. Calvin the I.I. I. On Twitter, Instagram, World Wide Web. I'm out here. You're on the interwebs. I'm in the interwebs all day, man. It's cool out here in these interweb streets. It's good. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. All right, thank you. It's man. awesome advice for everybody out there. Super Appreciate inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks everybody for watching my interview with Calvin the Second. He is a actor and a musician, and he's really cool. So I, I hope you enjoyed our interview. You can always watch the Red Booth Show every Saturday night on YouTube America, which you can find on Time Warner Cable and Charter, as well as on Roku and Apple TV. Thanks for watching.